Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Tuesday, 20th of January, 23rd June 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, Signal's market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Uh, you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, in terms of uh, Asian markets overnight, certainly a mixed message here. Uh, as the uh, uh, the actual uh, Chinese markets await the decision by the MSCI to include them into the emerging market in mar mar emerging markets index, you have the Shanghai down more or less uh, flat, the uh, Hang Seng down 0.3 percent, whilst the uh, Nikkei is up 0.8 percent. Okay, in terms of uh, economic news flow, let's just quickly go through uh, overnight. Um, we had Mr. Evans speaking overnight again, hawkish stance. Uh, we had Mr. the PBOC governor, uh, the Chinese uh, uh, central bank governor uh, speaking as well. And he certainly did sound some alarm bells with regards to the Chinese economy going forward. So certainly being interpreted as being potentially bearish. OK, uh, in terms of <clears throat> the RBA overnight, they were certainly dovish. Uh, other than that, there wasn't really anything of any importance. We've had uh, German inflation numbers certainly coming in on the weaker side this morning. So again, certainly uh, potentially helping the uh, equity markets from that perspective, given the fact that uh, it means that the ECB is going to be more dovish. But that was negated by uh, another article out with regards to ECB potentially tapering coming uh, potentially in uh, December. So again, markets have taken that to be uh, bearish uh, in terms of equities and bullish in terms of euro, with the euro still holding that 1.160 zone. Uh, we've had uh, Mr. I was certainly looking forward to uh, the uh, actual Fed member, Mr. Stanley Fisher, at 1 o'clock. So it'll be interesting to see what Mr. Fisher has to say. Mr. Evans obviously has spoken. Mr. Carney this morning certainly uh, sounding the dovish uh, by, uh, alarm bell, or certainly uh, sounding the dovish horn. And again, that certainly has sent uh, sterling back down to 1.2670 region, which in turn obviously sent the FTSE 100 higher, only for the FTSE to reverse. Now, the FTSE has been under pressure this morning due to, Bar due to Barclays, potential fraud, fraud case against it really involving the Qatari government. So again, it's certainly circumspect in terms of its timing. Uh, Fitch also uh, downgraded China's growth forecasts overnight. So again, weighing on the FTSE at present, obviously with regards to the uh, Chinese markets being down too. Oil prices have uh, just hit a low of 44.1, <clears throat> so again, <coughs> hurting the FTSE 100 as well. Okay, so again, so there's a lot of factors in terms of uh, depressing the markets, uh, especially given the fact that uh, you have Chinese markets, Nikkei as well, emerging markets all now potentially into resistance. So whether or not the uh, MSCI news has already been baked into China, that's a different question altogether. Obviously, if the MSCI decision doesn't go ahead, then that will actually hurt China. So something to consider. OK, so we're looking forward to Mr. Fisher speaking. We have uh, wholesales from Canada and uh, Red Book Index from the uh, US, which really isn't very really market moving. And then obviously the global dairy auction as well. OK, so let's see exactly where we are from a technical perspective. Let's start off with the German DAX. German DAX certainly breaking the previous high, hitting potentially new highs. Whether or not it can sustain that is a different question altogether. Uh, German IFO data certainly uh, forecast the uh, economy certainly to continue growing. Uh, or I think it was around 1.7 or 2%. Certainly take that into account. Now, the German DAX does have two potential unfilled gaps left behind, even though it is at new highs. Uh, so again, that certainly needs to be taken into consideration in terms of the next potential move. 10 minute chart, you have an unfilled gap left behind. Markets, obviously the German DAX isn't even going anywhere near that. And that certainly seems to be the case with um, with all the recent moves in this market. So holding previous resistance equals support, okay, on the uh, German DAX. So watch out if the market does turn sour, sentiment turns sour, then you are looking for a sharp drop. The French CAC, okay, let's see exactly where this stands. The French CAC at present holding that key diagonal trend line resistance, so therefore looking for risk aversion. 60 minute chart, yes, it has taken out the previous resistance, so we really are in no man's land with the next potential resistance being above at 5370. So let's see how the market unfolds. Having said that, you have two potential unfilled gaps left behind, which certainly need to be closed. In terms of FTSE 100, again, we pushed higher. If I go to the daily chart, you can see that we've negated the HNS formation now. 
we've gone up and tested that key resistance at 7560 and it's been negated what's interesting really is that today's chart actually takes out the uh, the actual bearish candle okay it's held previous resistance equals support one could argue that the FTSE 100 certainly wants to continue higher Daily chart FTSE, like I said, is into resistance, so you are going to see resistance for now. 60 minute chart certainly remain, remains capped at 7560, so any retest of 7560 will act as resistance. And the 10 minute chart certainly looking for double top resistance at 7560. Okay, now in terms of the um, the actual euro stocks, let's see exactly where we stand there. 60 minute charts clearly showing you resistance, looking for a potential move lower. 10 minute chart has an unveiled gap left behind and the daily chart as well into horizontal resistance so you are looking for gap for for, for the market certainly to start to reverse lower and be interesting to see how the market reacts i think that got that's a good summation really for european indices please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers goodbye now.